Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be giving you 13 ways to deal with stress slash 13 ways to be more relaxed. The reason I just gave you two titles is I'm not sure which one I'm using yet. I put a poll on Instagram so you guys could help me decide. My Instagram is Stacy Dollahan. It will be in the description box below. So next time I have a poll, you guys could participate if you weren't yet following me. So regardless of what the title is, I felt like this was a perfect video for this time of year. School is starting, so stress is starting, we need more ways to relax. So I came up with 13 reasons, 13 reasons, that sounds like 13 reasons why, okay, give me a second. I came up with 13 ways to help you all relax more and calm yourself, no matter if you're stressed about a test, about a grade, these will all help you calm down some. So let's get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, I just want to pop on here really quick before the video start and let you guys know if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and then after you click that, also click the notification bell and then you'll be notified every time I post and you won't miss one of my videos. Okay, now enjoy the video. I decided to get the obvious one out of the way, and that is reading. I feel like you all knew this was going to be on the list because I love reading, and I feel like it is very relaxing. It gets your mind off of what's actually going on and into the story, and if you're stressing, this is my number one tip, but I knew this wouldn't be obvious, so I just wanted to get it out of the way in the beginning. For my second tip, First, you need to grab your favorite snack and then pull out your laptop or phone and watch a Netflix series or movies or watch a YouTube video, whatever you want, really. I decided to start a new Netflix series. It seemed pretty good. I only watched one episode, but yeah, it was pretty good. For my third tip, spend some time with your pets. If you don't have any pets, do something like look up funny cat or dog videos and it will have the same effect. For my fourth tip, you should do self-care slash you time. This could be painting your nails. This could be face masks. Today, I chose to take a bath. I did also choose to use a bath bomb. However, you don't need to do this. I just think it makes it 10 times more relaxing, but baths are great on their own. I want to cut in here really fast and just talk about this. Um... This is after I put in the bath bomb, I just got out of the bath, and it literally did nothing. It just looks like dirty water, like it just made my water like tinted, like it was at first when it came out, it was like white, and then it just looked like soap, and now it just looks like nothing. And like I spent a couple dollars on this, so that was very disappointing. This is the packaging from the bath bomb. I'm not talking bad about like the company because I had another one from this company and it was actually like a really bright blue and it was really pretty but this one OMG a unicorn didn't do anything. It didn't change the color of my water. Again, not trying to talk bad about the company. I just don't want you guys to waste your money on this one. Um, I would try other ones if you're using this company because like I said I used another one and it turned out really cool so just don't get to my fifth tip is to listen to music. As you can see, I'm showing you what I'm listening to. I really enjoy that song. I suggest if you haven't heard it to listen to it because I love it a lot. And I feel like this tip was pretty obvious. I feel like everyone would think of this when they think of relaxing, but I still wanted to include it anyways. My sixth tip is have good smells. This one is nice because you could be doing anything. You could be working on homework, you could be studying, you could be cleaning, whatever you need to get done. And you could still be relaxed because you have good smells and it's going to make you feel better and feel more relaxed and stress less. My seventh tip is writing. You do not need to be a great writer to use this tip. You can just write out your thoughts and feelings. You don't have to show it to anyone, so it doesn't have to be great. I sometimes just like to make bullet lists about things. I don't write as near as much as I should, but when I do, it makes me feel really great.
For my eighth tip, do something you're passionate about, I decided to show you some notes I took on some videos for YouTube because that is what I am most passionate about. For my next tip, it is to look out a window while drinking a cup of coffee or tea. I had a video of this, but for some reason it's not there, so here is this crappy video. Tip 10 is to work on planning fun things. It doesn't matter how far away this is or how little of a deal others might think it is. If it makes you happy, you should work on planning it and get excited about it and it will definitely help you get rid of stress. My 11th tip is, is to do something creative. I've recently picked up planning and that takes a lot of creativity and it definitely relaxes me to do planners so here is a few spreads of my planning. My 12th tip is to exercise. This doesn't have to be anything vigorous. It can just be something like yoga, like I'm doing, or walking, but it's really whatever you want to do. My 13th and final tip is to go outside. This is very relaxing for me, however, this might not be for everyone. I know a lot of people don't like the outdoors, but I personally love the outdoors. I find nature so relaxing, so this is one of my top tips. But again, I know this tip is not for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!